Hello, all my tater tots out there. It's Hillbilly Dean. As I've told y'all in the past, I'm a veteran. I'm an OEF, OIF veteran. And... This is like a little more serious video for people. I'm just wondering. I've had like these high blood pressure, you know, heart issues for over 10 years now since I got out of the military. You know. And cause me a lot of problems and questions and it's like who else is having these kind of problems? Like I hear all, all these vets committing suicide and having problems and you know, I'm in the same boat. I've had my issues since getting out and I carried on, you know, like the fucking military teaches you to suck it up and carry on. I was doing that for the longest time, but then my blood pressure just got so high, I can't, I can't. Start having, like, freaking seizures and blood pressure going through the roof, but I'd have to go to the hospital and they wouldn't release me until I could get my blood pressure down but it's so high and all this crap it's like and I get emotional too easy I don't know what that's all about it's like what makes your emotions get all out of whack there are certain songs or Even now, I'm just trying to talk, <coughs> thinking about it. This gets me emotional. Makes me want to cry for no obvious apparent reason. Like, there's no reason I should be trying to cry, but. got me curious like who else out there is having these kind of problems like I've always been able to handle myself and take care of things and just push through just out of sheer will like that's not been that big of a problem for me This is a whole other thing, like getting emotional and blood pressure just trying to go up and up and up every year. I'm like, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm a semi expert in blood pressure. Like, I've done so much research on it, and I found so many different medicines and so much stuff. It's just like, Golly. Some stuff seems to help and get it down and this and that and whatever. And I keep coming back to the same conclusion like it's my stress more than it's a lack of a vitamin or whatever. Well, the interesting fact I found out with all this researching and stuff is if you don't breathe out just a second more than what you breathe in, you're holding in all this carbon dioxide in your body that you're supposed to be expelling. You know, you breathe in clean oxygen 
and your body uses that oxygen and then what you expel, what you exhale is carbon monoxide and stuff. It's like staying in a huff and a car fumes all day. So if you don't exhale enough, you feel short of breath or you hyperventilate, you, you've been running, you're breathing faster or more than you're exhaling. Well, you're building up and holding all this carbon dioxide in your body. So, it just makes sense. If I go stick my fucking face in a exhaust fumes, and I do that indefinitely and not getting enough fresh air, what's going to happen? It's going to start messing you up and eventually kill you. So that was a really interesting thing. So I recommend you practicing breathing in for three or four seconds and then exhaling four or five seconds, like one extra beat. This was exactly the quote, was an extra beat more than what you're inhaling. I did practice that, and it's actually hard. Like, you get so used to doing it subconsciously, you don't think about it. It's actually kind of hard. Like, I would exhale. I'd be trying to exhale for like five or six seconds or something. And about three seconds in, I would catch myself wanting to take a breath. Like, I've exhaled all I can exhale. So I'd have to force myself to just kind of pause, like, okay, I can't keep exhaling, but I don't want to inhale yet, so I've tried just stopping and holding my breath, and I'd make it over like a hump, and then I could exhale a little more, and then take my next breath, and then practice that for a minute, and it, it was weird, it didn't make a difference, like I could kind of tell a difference. Like, huh, well, okay, that makes sense. I have been like keeping too much carbon monoxide in, and tells you you got to just keep doing it. That you might have to do it up to a month or two, practice it just a couple of minutes a day, once or twice a day. And just keep doing it for months until eventually you kind of reprogram your brain. So it's like, well, that's pretty interesting. That's something nobody really talks about or something I've never really heard of. But I got that kind of reaffirmed by an uh, Olympic coach. There's this Olympic coach. I don't remember who for, who, but it was some runner or whatever. Something to do with Olympics. And he actually touched on that. Like, yeah, I train whoever I'm training how to breathe correctly. And it's like, well, shit. You know, there's even an Olympic coaches treat, teaching Olympic athletes this then there must be something to it I'm just grasping at straws I've literally been just researching and trying everything I'm like there has to be a way to get my blood pressure down that don't require going to a doctor and getting some man-made chemical bullshit pill like there has to be a way to get my blood pressure back under control naturally. Oh, another fun fact. This one will blow your mind. <laughs> Don't do any oils. Basically, no fried anything. Unless you just use straight up old school lard from animal fat or you use just butter. Not I can't believe this is not butter and shit. Use like real butter from milk and stuff. Or 
bacon grease, anything natural basically, think natural. If you use avocado shit and coconut shit and sesame seed and corn or canola oils and all that, like all those fucking oils will kill you. They did this fucking study. It was crazy. It's an old study. This was done in the 80s. So people out there, some scientists and stuff, they've known this since the 80s. They took some elderly people. Like now, I'm sure there's got to be something to this because it sounds illegal. But they did these studies on... Two different groups. They took some people 65 and older, <clears throat> and they gave them just canola oils and this and that, you know, what everybody's using nowadays oil. And then did like the other group, just gave them natural and stuff, gave them like butter and lard and natural grease. And stuff and they proved and showed that the ones that didn't do natural that did all this man-made oils and crap it's completely not natural it's something we came up with and started doing it showed on average that they died Within 10 years, it took 10 years to kill these people by just giving them canola oil and stuff. It's like, what the fuck? So it's like, and see, so doing these canola oils and low cholesterol and all that shit, they're technically. Just reading in general and on paper, it's healthy and healthier. But here's the thing. I've never had high sugar. I've never had high cholesterol. You know, my A1C and everything's always fine. I've always been healthy, always. So that's why I've been just trying everything. Like, well, if I'm healthy, there's nothing wrong with me to cut out or work on, then what am I supposed to fix? So that's kind of interesting that the oil thing is like, okay. So basically, stick with natural. Eat your pig fats from bacon and shit or whatever because that's animal fats that's natural fats instead of some man-made seed oil or canola oils and all this shit it's like that makes sense yeah the other stuff's technically healthy but it's not natural The healthiest thing is natural things. Just kind of think about that. Let that set in. Like, okay, I can take coconut oil and avocado oil or I'm getting oil from these natural foods. But how am I getting that oil? When you take a piece of bacon, you throw it on the pan and it cooks... And then all this grease and stuff cooks out of the food. That's natural. That's real grease to grease your pans so stuff won't stick. You throw some hamburger meat in there and it gets greasy and it keeps your food from sticking to your pan. It's like God and nature figured all this out for us. We don't need oils. Real food that we should be eating, bacon and hamburger meat and all this stuff, it's got oil in it. It naturally greases the pan. You don't need grease. So what the old timers did, 
before all this man-made shit, I remember my mom and stuff doing this. You'd keep a can on your stove, and every time you cook some meat or bacon, anything grease, you poured it in that can. And then when you wanted to make some gravy or you needed some grease for your eggs or whatever, you got to scoop out of that can and put it in your pan. Yeah, it looked nasty and disgusting. It's like, ew, yuck. But it was all natural. That was real grease lubrication. So that's what I've been working on. I'm trying, I'm not doing any fried foods. I'm eating more natural foods like a big old greasy cheeseburger or something because that's real and healthy. And it's meat. It's doing like an Atkins diet or something, but it's meat. So that, that can't be bad, you know. That's a whole other thing. I ain't going to talk about that right now because I don't remember the details. I'll have to refresh my memory. That's another thing. My memory is shit. That's like, man, I was, I, I was sharp when I was younger. I, I was... I don't know what's going on with my freaking memory anymore. It's just horrible. That worries me. Blood pressure going through the roof. My memory's fucking going on me. It's, like, it's got to be from eating bad when I'm not exercising enough. And there's a reason for that. It's not I'm a lazy bastard. It's. <clears throat> I don't want to give myself a fucking heart attack. I can just get up and walk to the bathroom, have to go piss and come back and I have to sit there for a little bit and let my heart rate go back down. That's how bad I've gotten. I'm to the point where I can't do activities or I'll give myself a heart attack. So it's like I'm in this catch-22. It's driving me nuts. But I'm like, okay, this video is going to be vet and health, I guess, I don't know what I've done to this video. <clears throat> so, I'm just trying to get open to discussion. But there's other vets email me, text me, or relatives of vets, or spouses of vets, they can Hook up with me and freaking talk this out. Like, what is going on with this bitch? So, yeah, this video is getting long, like 18 minutes now. Holy schmoly. I was playing that quit on me right out of memory or something. So, anyway. Take care, reach out, talk to people like me. Don't do suicide or anything stupid. Just talk to me, reach out. Let's figure this out. Love all you viewers. Take care. Later, taters.